G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a curious algebra slash number question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. How many distinct four digit numbers are divisible by three and have two three as their last two digits? Okay, sounds kind of innocent. Uh, let's see what we've got. We've got a four digit number. Okay, four digit number. Do, 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 do. That ends in two three. And, uh, Oh, and it's divisible by three. So I'm looking for the first two digits. So I get a four digit number that's divisible by three, ending in two, three. Okay, I do happen to know a divisibility rule for the number three. A number's divisible by three if the sum of its digits is a multiple of three. In this case, the sum of the digits is a plus b plus two plus three. That is a plus b plus five. It needs to be a multiple of three. So we want to know how many distinct four digit numbers are there like this? So, so, okay, I want how many distinct four digit numbers are there satisfying this condition basically? A, B with plus five, adding up to multiple three. All right, now uh, I guess A can't be zero. Uh, I should note that otherwise it wouldn't be a four digit number. So A is either one of the numbers one through nine, B is number one of the numbers zero through nine. Uh, maybe I'll just plug my way through this. Maybe, you know, key, uh, strategy number seven is key here. Just persevere. Um, for example, uh, what if A is one? Uh, what would I get? One, something, two, three, and I want this to add up to multiple of three. If A is one, I get one plus five here. It's already multiple of three, so I want B to be multiple of three. So I guess B could either be, what, zero, or three, or six, or nine? I guess there's four options right there. Cool. Better keep going with A equals two, and A equals three, and so forth, and just count them up. It sounds like a bit of a work, but you know, I know what to do. It's straightforward, just, just do it. And this is a simpler way to think of my way through this. Hmm. Anyhow, you know, give this problem a try, see how it goes, and let's compare answers. Look at the essay that goes with this video. Cool. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.